Welcome back in, everyone, to EA Sports coverage of the NFL. Currently, the Patriots in control of the football as we resume action in quarter number two. Second and 13, Brady, it's complete, James White. And they'll bring him down at the 18-yard line. Seven yards on the play, and it'll be third down. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. Here's Brady to throw. He's got a man complete. It's Julian Edelman. Okay, Brady, I see you. And he will be very close to a first down, but I see the closed fist of the referee, and that means fourth down. And finding Edelman underneath, that's a recipe for success. Typical route for a good slot receiver, and Edelman's one of the best in the game. Knows how to go inside what one of my college coaches used to call the briar patch. Got to go in there where it's tough and make those tough catches. And not only can he do it, he can often run away from people after the catch. And the 11-year veteran bangs it through. And they get themselves on the board here. It's 10 to 3. So he splits the uprights and has to be a nice feeling. Right when it left his foot, knew it was good. Yeah, just like a good three-point shooter in basketball, right? Release the ball, fall back on defense without even looking. You know it's going in the hoop. After the field goal, Bailey will kick it away. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Tevin Coleman and the rest of the offense making their way back out. A good job in the passing game. Decent job in the running game, but really they've been more effective uh, through the air. We'll see if that shifts at all as this goes on. Thus far, it feels like they're calling this game in reverse. Normally, you run to set up the pass. Here, it feels like they're passing, hoping to set up the run and be more effective later on in the game. Yeah, you can do it both ways. We usually talk about it in the reverse, however. No doubt about it. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. Steps away. He's going to take off with it. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. And that was not a bad scramble there on first down. He didn't force it, nor did he throw it away. He was able to take off, and now he made it a very manageable second and short. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. And that one got tipped, kind of threw everything off. It brings up third. Really nice play by the guys on the defensive side of the ball, but... For the guys on the offensive line, they're doing a nice job of trying to protect their passer. But when a guy hops in the air and goes airborne to try and knock one away, it's difficult because you can't reach out and grab him. That'll be a holding penalty. So all you're trying to do is make some type of a play on him, make some type of contact to try and get his arms out of the sky. Open man is Samuel, complete. And he's going to be taken down here, still a couple yards short of the first. Two yards is all they'll get on the completion. It's fourth down. Receivers love having the reputation of being go-to guys on third down. And he was fighting like he really wanted to have that reputation, didn't he? I mean, he came very close to making that a first down. Broke the one tackle, but couldn't spring himself free.
Here comes the 49ers punter now as he'll kick it away for the second time. There again is the running back as he trots onto the field. They've given him some touches. They haven't had a lot of success on the ground. Do you maybe keep going to that well, or do you mix it up more? I think you mix it up more, try and loosen things up, get the defense to react to other people, other plays, but don't forget about it. That's your horse. You know, Secretariat lost twice in his career. <laughs> so educational. That's very true, kids. Look it up. So Brady and the Pats take over first and 10 at their own 15. They begin with Michelle on the ground. And he'll be taken down at the 18. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. When we see those runs to the perimeter, when we see those runs to the edge, we think about big breakers, don't we? In this case, it was a modest game, but it does open up possibilities here on second down. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Brady now to throw. That's caught by the tight end, Lacoste. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before you get a good head of steam going. New England on third down, two for five to this point. This time they face a third and two. Here's Sanu on the catch. And he picks up the first before he's taken down at the 29. First time these two have hooked up this afternoon, and it's a first down. And that one was a lot of fun right there because that was the game within the game. Third and short, blitz was on. What's the key for the quarterback? Get out of your hands in a hurry. And that was a quick little completion. Got the job done for a first down. First down, Brady. And the coverage terrific there as that's knocked down and incomplete. The linebacker Fred Warner right there on the coverage. Well, CD, with the end of the season comes the announcement of the All-Pro team, and everybody was like, wait a second, Christian McCaffrey's listed twice. Is that a mistake? No, he got it both at running back and flex. Pretty impressive. Very impressive because I think a lot of people thought that if you have a running back and a flex position, that maybe Christian McCaffrey would go into the flex because he catches the ball so well. And he would go ahead and elevate the big guy out of Tennessee, Derrick Henry, to the all-pro running back. Henry ends up being a second-team guy, but McCaffrey deserves being first-team running back as well as first-team flex. He had a tremendous, spectacular year. And as you might imagine, Baltimore leads the way. Five players named to the all-pro selection. Of course, leading the way for them, the quarterback, Lamar Jackson. Yes, and, and rightly so. And I fully expect him to be named the MVP when we get to NFL honors right before the Super Bowl. He's going to sweep all of those, and he deserves it. Carried that team throughout the season and got better in their bigger games. Brady's throw on third down there is incomplete. The linebacker Fred Warner right there on the coverage. Not only was the call spot on, how about the execution of that defense right there? Zone was absolutely locked up tight. He was trying to force it in there on third down. But if there's a time to force it, he felt like he needed to make a play, right? Yeah, exactly right. Third down, you got to try and find something. There's nothing available there for him. The Patriots send out their punter as he'll come on to kick this one away. And this is away. It's a high kick, and he got all of it. And this one hits at the one, continues on into the end zone for a touchback. Matt Breed in the offense heading back out. We're in the second quarter. They've got the lead. The lead, though, not so much because of the ground game, because of their air attack, Charles. So what they're seeing so far is the possibility of things loosening up later in the ground game. Through the air first, maybe they have to start respecting that even more as the game goes on, and then there will be running lanes to find later. Yeah, try to get him more involved here on this drive, maybe. They'll start on the ground with Breida. 
And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. 18 yards, first down Niners. Now this is an example of breaking down a defense because on a lot of these runs, he's getting past the point of attack. And guess what he's doing? Forcing the secondary guys to have to make a lot of tackles. From all the way up at the 38 now after a good start to the drive. to throw here. He hits his target. It's the tight end, Toilolo. A gain of six there on first. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. Now this one complete downfield on the left side. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots 35. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. So into Pat's territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 35-yard line. On first down, here's Breda. And down right around the 32-yard line, four yards on the pickup. Tough running there. That's a hard-earned four yards. Yeah, those are the unsung kind of runs. They don't fill up the stat sheet, but they do set you up in good position on second down. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. It's our time. It's our time. On second down, a run with Breida. He'll get the first down and more inside the 20. And he's going to get it all the way down to the 10-yard line. 22 yards there, a first down. score 10 to 3 with two minutes remaining in quarter number two a reminder coming up at halftime Jonathan Coachman will join us from Orlando with our halftime report but business to take care of before we get there a two-minute drill before the coaches two-minute drill and now a throw on first down there but it's incomplete Emmanuel Sanders the intended receiver but it'll be second down by the way I gotta apologize because I just realized for about the last four or five plays I'm eking over into your territory up here in the booth my bad I'm gonna get back over to my spot yeah we're not talking about our on-air commentary I mean, I mean, what is all this extra paper? I mean, this is unusual know, for you. My bad. Normally you run a really tight ship. What's going on here? Just like that incomplete pass, I'm going to try to tighten things up here for this next play. Now a second down throw for the end zone, but it's incomplete. Feels like they're getting caught in between here because they had incompletions on first and second down. Now you got to worry a little bit about the clock because you prefer not to give them another shot here in the first half. But if you don't pick up the first down, guess what? You're likely going to have to. They're going to look to throw. He may try and run for this. Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. So out comes the field goal team now for the second time here today. From the right hash at a bit of a tight angle. The kick by Gold is good. And they will stretch their lead to 10 now at 13-3. 
No problems in the field goal department so far. He's two for two. Pretty reliable here in this game, isn't he? And to me, that bodes well for them. If they need him late in the game, his confidence should be sky high. Now it's gold after splitting the uprights to kick this one away. Free kick out of bounds. Kicking team. And that drives coaches insane, doesn't it? When they see that happen, it just, it just doesn't feel right, does it? Plus, you're giving up yardage. Good starting field position for them as they come up first and 10 at the 40. Working from the gun, it's Brady. He's got Lacoste as tight end. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. That goes as a gain of 11 and a Patriot first down. And there's another completion to the tight end. And let's face it, it is hard to overthrow. A six foot six inch target. <laughs> it is indeed. The quarterbacks like their speed guys. They like that huge six six target that they've got in him. They really do. And it reminds me of what one great tight end told me once. He had told his quarterback, just make sure you throw it up there. You know, kind of like put it up in the top shelf where the kids can't get it. And partner, I think that was a great example that not all tight ends are created equal. Because everything was right. Got the completion, but he's not one of the more dynamic guys in the league. So even though he caught it, couldn't turn it into much more. Wait, that, wait, 20. 56. Check, 56. Come on, baby, come on, let's go. Alpha. Throwing again on second down, Brady. And this one brought in by Sanu. That one covers 24 yards. It's a first down. Let's go. I've got to make sure that I don't take Tom Brady's greatness for granted, that we make it routine. How about that throw right there? Yeah. Another, another great completion. And you know one area where he honed his throwing? He was a catcher in high school. He was actually drafted by the Expos in 1995 in the 18th round. Well, that would have been something to see him behind the dish. I think he gunned down a few guys. Gunned down a few guys trying to steal second. That would have been fun to watch. Could we get a touchdown in this first half after all? It's first and 10. Into the red zone, it's Brady. Caught by the tight end, Watson. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. That's a staple of this offense, drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. Now Brady. That is caught inside the five. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. The Patriot passing game is rolling. They've got another first down. The Patriots will take their third and final timeout as they stop it with 16 seconds to go in half number one. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Brady to throw again. And this is caught. Touchdown, Patriots. Benjamin Watson as the first half is winding down as they are now just an extra point away from making this a three-point game. Until that late score here in the second quarter, they only had the field goal. So that's just big to see that football get into the end zone. Yeah, and when you look at the scoreboard now, nothing seems out of reach. They've been outplayed in the first half. But when the clock hits zeros as they head into the half, you know what I do as a head coach? What? I tell my team to sprint to the locker room to show that we've got the momentum and show that we're right back in this game. Extra.
extra point up and good by Folk. And the lead down to three at 13-10. That time a six-play drive. And it ends with a New England touchdown. Kick it away after the touchdown. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. Time here for likely a couple plays if they want it, but with the field position what it is, maybe better suited to just sit on this one? I'm with you totally. I would sit on it and get into the locker room and, and start over. But if they do decide to try and make a play, we know what the basics are. You run draw, you run screen. I would maybe run a little swing pass and try and get my lineman out in space and see if they can chop a hole into the secondary and see if he can run a little bit. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome, everybody, to our abbreviated version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. This one's been as good as advertised. Just a field goal separating these two teams as they've already made their way back out of the locker room. So to bring you the story of the second half, let's get you right back out to Brandon God. Thank you, sir. A field goal separates these two teams as we come back for this second half. It's the 49ers out in front, and they will get the football first as well as we are back and started in the second half. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. Now out comes their leader and the captain of this offense back onto the field. How do you break down his game so far? Just the one touchdown pass, but sometimes the touchdown pass stat category, that doesn't tell the whole story. It really doesn't, not until you balance it with the error side. You know, and in this case, he hasn't thrown any interceptions. So a lot of people would call this almost a pedestrian game, kind of a bus driver game. But that's just really wrong. Being a bus driver is a good thing if you're running a football team because that means you're in control and you're taking your team to the right places. Yeah, he's been pretty solid. Now a deep ball going to be caught here near midfield. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. He got 29 yards that time. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz game and you can drop anyone out of your defensive front. Defensive end, defensive tackle, it doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. They'll look to throw now on first down. That's gonna be caught by Samuel. And a five yard gain gets him to the 42. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. And boy, they had high praise for this rookie receiver when we asked the coaches about him, didn't they? They certainly did, and obviously they liked his measurables, otherwise they wouldn't have brought him onto the team. Height, weight, speed, all of that. But how about what they really said? Competitiveness. That's what they really liked about him. The way he goes after the football, competes for it, and decides when it's in the air, it's his and only his. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. This is Breida. And an alley to run. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. The Niners have the first down on a gain of 11. 
Would you say this offense is locked in right now? They're having no trouble on this drive. What is it, three plays, three first downs? Yeah, you talk about on the march. They keep this up, they'll get to that end zone real fast. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Once again, they run with Breed on first down. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. They run with Breda. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. No gain on the play there, so that doesn't help. Now they're looking up at a third and nine situation. They got to get it to the 21 here on third down. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. They'll roll him out right. And he nearly got the first himself, but it appears he's going to be about a yard or two short. Pretty solid gain of seven yards that time as he scrambled, but now they face a fourth down. I like his effort there. He got it done on his own, but let's face it. He puts defenses in a really stressful spot when he takes off and runs because a lot of guys have coverage responsibilities. Good job of rallying, though, because I thought when he first took off, he might pick up the first down. So now here comes the field goal team for the third time today. Wind at his back now in this third quarter. And Gold is able to put it through. And that extends their advantage to six. It's 16 to 10. So three field goals that he's hit. Now this last one helps him stretch out the lead. He's been solid, hasn't he? And he lives up to the adage that every offensive coach has ever said to us. We want to end every possession with a kick. Right? For them, it's either extra point, field goal, or at worst, a punt. In this case, it's been threes. Now it's gold after splitting the uprights to kick this one away. This one taken just inside the 10. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28-yard line. So here are the Patriots now. They get ready for their first possession of half number two. They're down in this game. A chance for the offense, though, to put something on the board, get some momentum here in half two. Try and get things kick-started for them. And you know at the half, they discussed how they were going to get that done. This is where scripting comes into play a lot how, of the how time. How many plays do you script coming out of the second most, half? Most of the time in the first half, you're scripting 12 to 16. I think in the second half, you're really scripting more like 8 to 10. Kind of a starter or an opener, whatever they, whatever terminology they use. Just something to get you off to a quick start. Now a pass here caught by Edelman. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. It'll be a Patriot first down on a pickup of 16. The former seventh-round pick, Julian Edelman, just continues to have such a productive career. And has made himself into a receiver. Remember, he was a college quarterback, and not just a productive one, a very good one. At Kent State, right? Yes, a great leader, a guy who could make plays with his feet and his arm. Got to the NFL and had to convert into being a receiver and was drafted that way. And that conversion, oh boy, it's been good. One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. They'll run with White. And they're going to get him behind the line yet again as his nightmare afternoon continues. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave him with a second and two. Running lanes were at a premium in the first half, but he's able to find some room there, and he's hoping that that's a precursor of a big second half. Eight yards the gain on that last run. Here's second and a couple. They stay on the ground. This time it's Michelle. Personal foul. Unnecessary roughness. Defense. Now, I know it's an emotional game, Charles. You can't do that. And when you get into your film sessions and you argue your case with your coaches, 
That's exactly what they say at the end. You just can't do it. It costs your team. to get away with one there that one nearly picked second down and that's one he's got to be happy to have back there wasn't a hole open in the zone you'd have to think on early downs like that first down there need to be a little bit more careful yeah fortunately for him got a couple more downs to play with brady's incompletion on first down leads to a second and ten to throw again brady he's got white here down he goes at the 10 with a solid pickup of eight. It'll be a gain of eight yards, and that'll make it third down. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end, but running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. Second down pass play got him eight yards. Now they've got a third and a couple remaining. They'll try to pick this up on the ground with White. And boy, he is very close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. It'll be called a gain of two, and that'll leave him with some options here on fourth and inches. I have to think a major focus of the halftime means had to be figuring out how to create space for the running game to get operating. Well, what you pointed out to me at half seems accurate. That line has struggled to sustain blocks. Yeah, I would agree with that totally. They've got to focus on staying on their double teams at the first level, make sure that block's secured before they slide off and try and chip someone at the second level. So out comes the field goal team now for the second time here today. From the right hash here, should be an easy one. And Folks' kick is good. And the lead is back down to three here at 16-13. That drive took him inside the 10. Good job defensively to hold him to three. Yeah, I like how you did that. Give a little tip of the cap to the stop troops there because they didn't give up a touchdown in that situation, right? Made them kick the field goal. And yeah, points went against them, but that feels a whole lot better running off the field. After the field goal, Bailey will kick it away. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. Here again comes the captain of this offense leading his crew back out there now. He's been pretty solid, pretty consistent, just the one touchdown pass, but I think he's managed the game well, no? I would agree with you, and that's what you're looking for out of your field leader, making sure that you're playing well, and not making any big mistakes. Oftentimes, that's how you're judged. Mm -hmm. How big a mistake and when it occurs. No interception so far. They'll like that. I just want you to know that you agreeing with me, that's going to get me through this third and fourth quarter. Are you touched? <laughs> he's patting his heart, boys and girls. He's touched. Respect. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. But we just saw a great example of what we talked about with his coach prior to the game. He's definitely one of the better linebackers at reading a play and flowing to make the stop before it turns into something big. They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. On play action, they'll throw. And Sanders has got it complete. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. A gain there of 21 yards. fake here on first down and that will be incomplete 
Would have been a big hitter if they had connected. Instead, it's second down. Well, with that incompletion, Charles, let's talk about the coaching carousel. Some new guys in new places. Ron Rivera to Washington. We got Mike McCarthy in Dallas. Matt ruled up from the college ranks to Carolina. And for the Giants, Joe Judge. Any surprises in your mind? Well, I think you start with Joe Judge going to the Giants, coming from New England, where he was the special teams coach for most of his career. And this season added wide receivers to his duties. Well regarded within the ranks of the NFL. Not much known about him to the outside world. It's kind of a reveal to everyone. Joe Judge, people will now get to know who he is. Because most people thought Matt Rule was going to go to New York. He ends up in Carolina. And then, of course, Ron Rivera. He would have been a candidate for Dallas. He would have been a candidate for New York. As well as Washington. And Washington never let him out of the building. That was a big-time hire for them. And he's got the first before he's brought down at the 39-yard line. And five yards on the play there as the drive will continue. As an unbiased observer, I think it would have been interesting to see what they would have done if they hadn't gotten the first down there. But since they did, I guess the point is moved. And they're right there in that middle ground, field goal range, punt, go for it. But as you said, they picked it up. This quarterback now... Five straight completions here in this second half. First and ten. Now it's Breda. And he'll get four here down to the 35-yard line. I call that play a success. A nice inside run sets up a very manageable second down. A very solid gain on that play. Second down now. It's Coleman. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. He lost two there. And it's third down. He has elite instincts from his linebacker spot. He's able to diagnose the run and flies in like a missile to stop that one behind the line of scrimmage. Seventh play of the drive, fourth coming on third and eight. Army, Army. Sponge. Foot, foot, foot. They'll drop the throw. And able to haul it in is Kittle. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. The Niners passing game in sync now. They've got another first down. Fifth catch of the game for him there. Yeah, and the tight end position is now becoming a volume pass catcher. It used to be occasional, right, safety valve, throw one to him every so often, but more, mainly they want him out there to block. Nowadays, an integral part of the passing game, and they create such great mismatches that they often become the leading receiver. Here's Burita, and maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. They'll wind up losing three yards here, and it'll bring up a second and 13. You know, it's become cliche, but we have seen it and observed it. When runners have days like what we're seeing right now, they often take their offensive linemen out for stakes afterwards, don't they? They all go buy them dinner, but after a play like that, he might reduce it, might go to the corner and just grab a hot dog or two, huh? Hey, I mean, they've still been blocking for him well in this game. They don't get one mulligan up front. Okay, so what we're saying then is we're going petite filet <laughs> instead of porterhouse. Eight How's ounce. That? Eight ounce is good. All right, just check it. And he will reach the five-yard line before going out of bounds. The Niners passing game in sync now. They've got another first down. Partner, this is one of the best routes anyone can have in their offensive playbook tough to defend because you think it's a go route and then he breaks it back on the comeback there's one other thing you need as well a well thrown ball exactly right you have a guy who has some precision in throwing the football because of the timing of the route they'll try and run for it on first and goal and he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. 
Oh, that's a tough one right there. He ran right into the teeth of the blitz as the linebacker was freed up in order to stuff that one for a loss. I think quarterbacks got to see that. Got to find a way to audible into something a little more advantageous. It's second and goal. Back to the eight-yard line now. On second down, it's Coleman. And he'll work his way closer to the goal line as he's got five down to the three. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive, because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense getting a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. Well, they've been so good on third down all day long. Can they convert another here on third and goal? Back to throw. He'll buy touchdown 49ers. They've already been on record as saying, hey, if our rookie quarterback's going to tuck it and run on a scramble, we kind of hold our breath. Well, that was a maybe no, 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 yes, as he's able to get into the end zone. Are you saying he's got to learn where the line is about whether you keep your eyes downfield, try and find a receiver, or you tuck it and go? And I think he's there's going to be some growing pains with that. I think in this case, he made the right decision. And we know he's got the speed. He showed it there. Gold with the extra point, and his guys will take a 10-point lead. So that one, a 13-play drive in total, and it ends with a three-yard scoring run. Touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. This will be taken very short. And a good return up past the 30, but was it aided by an illegal block or a hold? Let's see. So that will push him back. And now we know why he had a little extra space to run, don't we? An illegal block in the back, that penalty will move them back. So the special teams penalty cost some yardage there as they come out on first and ten. To throw, it's Brady. He's got a man complete. It's Julian Edelman. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. The end result, 21 yards. And another thing that makes the comeback route really effective is that oftentimes after you've made the initial move, receiver's breaking away from the defensive back, and that makes it a really tough play to defend. A nice chunk of yardage picked up there. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. Brady gives to Michelle. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. That'll be a New England first down, a gain of 12. First downs have not come easy, and neither have runs like this throughout this game. Absolutely not. He finally felt like, whoa, a sigh of relief. We got something going in the running game. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Here's Brady. Toward the right sideline, but it's incomplete. He was looking for Julian Edelman that time. And that'll bring up second down. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely. Just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. Brady's incompletion on first down leads to a second and ten. Throwing again. Brady 
Trying for Edelman again. This time he's got it. That catch good for only a yard, and it'll be third down. And when you're playing a quarterback with some experience and some moxie, you enter the danger zone when you decide to blitz him because if he's able to diagnose as he did on that play, he can hurt you downfield. He reads defenses so well, doesn't he? He really does, and the best part about that play for him, I don't think that was his primary target. I don't think so either. I think he had the read, figured out where the blitz was coming from, and went to a secondary target for a really nice game. And down he goes, a covered sack. Took too long to get rid of it. Credit the sack to the Oregon Duck to Forrest Buckner. There's a little bit of defense right there. Nickel set, five defensive backs. They just snuffed out every route that was going. Quarterback never got rid of the football. The Patriots send out their punter. He's been terrific so far. He steps into this one, and this is a rocket. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. The 49ers offense making its way back out there. And that last drive, a long drive, but not just that. They had a great air attack going. Do they stick with that? I would think that they would because if they were competent enough to do it on the last drive, starting backed up in their own territory, why would you change anything? They've got to be confident about what they're presenting and continue to do so. Yeah, because the secondary, they really look clueless. And that was amazing because that drive went and went. No adjustments and no big plays by the defense to knock the ball away. A handoff to Breda to begin the drive. And he's going to get seven out of this before being taken down at the 27. Despite the blitz, they're still able to pick up a nice, solid gain. The disadvantage of blitzing often alters the normal spacing and run fits and leaves creases like they were able to exploit right there. So they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three. They run again with Breida. He takes this for three to the 29. Third quarter and you've got the lead. You're not ready to go into that four-minute offense to close the game out, but a running game can really benefit your team right now. They'll try to pick this up on the ground with Breida. And he gets it to the 34. Good enough for the first. They're able to convert with a gain of four. They're trying to show that they can run the ball, protect this lead, give it to the backs, play a little bit of keep away, don't you think? And that's probably a good philosophy at this point, going to make that defense stand up and stop them. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. On the handoff, this is Breda. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Nice job by that defensive front there to hold him to a short gain on first down. Well played, I must say. Yeah, only getting one yard. There was no room to run. Now this will probably be the last play of the quarter. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. fake. They'll look to throw. Man open. It's Goodwin. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots 42. And defensively, they just don't seem to have much of an answer for this passing game. Not at all. Look at the confidence that's exhibited here with that type of a lead. Clock on their side. Instead of running it, they're still throwing it, trying to pick up first downs and keeping the football. The 
This quarterback now a perfect eight for eight to start the second half. Not bad. First and ten. Now a give to Breda. And I think this defense knew what was coming as he is smothered behind the line. A loss of two there, second down. On this day, the ground has been his, but at least on that individual play, we just saw the defense finally with a win. Yeah, they finally got one, and that's a win for them, but all game long. He's seen the holes, and they've been huge for him. Kind of like a baseball hitter in the zone. The ball seems bigger, and he's just whacking it. These guys, they've got it going today. If nothing else, they've already taken a couple minutes off the clock here already as they come up second down. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. Lightning speed there from the safety, Devin McCourty on the sack. Enough takes to start to have a good drive. Quite like a big loss on a sack, does it? No, now they're looking at a third and long, and suddenly the momentum shifted to the other side of the football. And old Mo is a very, very fickle man. Need something from deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second down went backwards. It's third and very long. Now back to throw. And unable to connect, incomplete. Now give them credit, they took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. Critical play in this football game because if they pick up the first there, that clock keeps rolling. Has to be a little frustrating for them because they know that if they pick up a first down there and continue to eat away at the clock, really increases their chances of closing this one out. Now they're likely going to have to give the football up and sweat it out on the sideline. Here comes the 49ers punter now as he's on here to punt it away. And he gets this away, and look at this. This is a good one. Come on, fellas. And now out come the Patriots. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. Well, you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm? A lot of times, the punter goes to the sideline, puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now <laughs> from all the work he's getting. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Shotgun now for Brady. Caught by Sanu. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. That'll be a New England first down, a gain of 12. You cannot write these guys off just yet, not with a quarterback like that under center. You mean it actually crossed your mind with him running the team that you could actually maybe write this game off? Not yet. Not a chance. Not with him. We've seen it too many times. Brady now perfect since the second half started. Seven of seven. It's first and ten. And a big loss here as he's taken down. D Ford. Give him the credit for the sack and a loss of 14 yards. And we say it all the time, have to be able to get rid of the ball sooner than that. You have to help your offensive line out. They're going to protect you as best they can. And if you're getting three to five seconds to throw the ball, they're doing a really nice job. But when you hold it and give up a sack, you're really almost discrediting their work. So after the sack, a scenario you certainly don't work on too often. Second and 24. Now Brady. Complaint to Watson, the tight end. A good pickup there, 18 yards as they get closer for third down. Partner, it's a lot of fun watching the NFL now, isn't it? Because when the big fellow runs routes, it used to be when we were kids, he'd run about three different routes, and that was it. Now he can run anything and catch the balls we just saw there. New England on third down. They've converted a third of their opportunities, three for nine. This will be third and five. And he'll have his man, that's Edelman. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. A 10-yard pickup, and it's enough for a Patriot first down. And in a two-score game, obviously, every play, every third down, like we saw there, magnified big pickup. It was a huge pickup. What they really want, though, is to not even get to third down. They've got to maximize time and can serve as much as possible. Wait, 
Throwing on first down is Brady. It's complete. James White. Five yards on the pickup, and that'll bring up second down. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. You're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. Brady going to throw. It's caught. This is White. And he'll be brought down at the 27-yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Not only did we just see back-to-back -back nice gains, but we're also seeing the confidence rise, not just for the guy who caught it, but the guy throwing it as well. And these can, these back-to-back -back catches here out of the backfield, that can set something up downfield in a later sequence, right? A lot of the time, it starts to draw the defense closer to the line of scrimmage. So to your point, show this swing pass, show this check down. Maybe later on, you heave one deep and you catch them close to the spot. A gain of six there on first. Let's just break this down and make it pretty simple. Key to the drag route, letting the play develop, finding the hole in the defense, and giving your athlete, yes, athlete, a chance to make something happen once he has the ball in his hands. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. On the ground is Michelle, and now they're going to get him down right at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play that time, and they'll look to convert on what will be a third and four. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. New England on third down. They're right at about the league average, 40%, four for 10. This is third and four. To throw is Brady. This is White on the screen. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Let's give a little credit there. The offensive play call sense that the screen pass was available. Whenever you're getting a lot of heavy pressure towards your quarterback, that's when you're thinking about running the screen and using that pressure against the defense, and it worked very well there for a first down. Brady's got his guys first and 10, and he's up to seven for seven now on this drive alone. First down, here's White, powerful running, and a short pick up there down to about the nine. Only a yard that time, second and goal. Well, it's been the air game that's taken them down on this drive before they finally turned around and handed it off on the last play. And now they're looking for the big boys to get him in the end zone. Couldn't do it there. It'll be interesting to see. Offensive lines had to pass block a lot on this drive. Will they be able to revert and fire out and create some space in the run game? They keep it on the ground, wide again. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. This will be a two-yard loss on the play. And that's going to bring up an interesting third and goal. Doubling this guy has to be a priority before moving up to the next level because the big fella, he just ate that one alive, just stuffed it. In fact, before the game, he was talking to us, and he's like, hey, these pants make me look fat? And we said, nah, man, you're just a whole lot of guy. He is a well over 300 pounds. He's a big man. So third and goal, and the 49er faithful making some noise for their defense. As a man, and it's Edelman for the Patriot touchdown. Julian Edelman there to make the grab as they are now just an extra point away from making this a three-point game. And he's a little bit on the shorter side as a receiver. Maybe sometimes for the defense, tough to find the little guys, right? Yeah, sometimes they get lost in the traffic, but usually what it means is that rather than just winning with height or even speed, they use their quickness to find a way to get open. Well, tall, short, wide, skinny, whatever, there it results in a touchdown. And there's going to be a stoppage here. The booth wants to take another look at this potential touchdown. 
The previous play is under review.